So first, we are going to write the law of conservation of momentum here. And I'm writing the equation to the right, so no problem. That has a negative momentum because it is a vector. Hello everyone, welcome to Maths IEC. Here's another GCSE exam style question on momentum. Please pause the video and try this question yourself. And when you want to check the answer, continue the video. Here's the answer. Now in a question like this, the first step is to draw a clear diagram. A 50 gram ball is traveling to the right at five meters per second. It collides head on with a 40 gram ball traveling to the left at three meters per second. After the collision, the two balls stick together. The question is to work out the velocity of the combined mass. Now, we don't know the direction of this at this point yet. Let's just assume it's to the right. If it is not correct, you'll get a negative value so we can switch it at the end. So first, we are going to write the law of conservation of momentum here. Initial momentum is equal to final momentum. Now, momentum is a vector quantity and we can write the law of conservation momentum only in a given direction. So let's write it to the right. Now, what is the momentum before the collision? So the first object, it will be 50 multiplied by 5. Now, technically, we should convert the grams to kilograms to get the momentum in kilograms meters per second. However, in this question, all are in grams. So even if you do the conversion, they will get cancelled out. So it's not a problem. So we can leave it as it is. 50 times 5 is the momentum of the first one. Now that one is moving to the right and I'm writing the equation to the right, so no problem. But look at the second object. The 40 gram object is moving to the left, which is opposite to the direction I'm writing it. So that has a negative momentum because it is a vector. 3 times 40 is equal to final momentum. The combined mass would be 50 and 40, 90 times by V. Now let's simplify this one. 130 on the left is equal to 90 V. Divide both sides by 90. So the answer is 1.4 meters per second to the right. Many students ask me in a question like this, whether you need to convert these grams to kilograms or not. I mean, I didn't do it really. And I got this answer. Now, let's see what happens if you do convert. This 50 grams to kilograms, I'm going to divide this one by 1000. And 40 grams to kilograms, I'm going to divide it by 1000. 90 grams to kilograms, I'm going to divide it by 1000. So you can see, even if I write it, the thousands are going to get cancelled out anyway. So I'll get the same answer either way. 